Why are you here today? To support Donald Trump. I am here for Trump. To support Donald Trump. To put America first. What do you like about Donald Trump? Everything. He's from Queens and he speaks our language. I like Trump because he keep it real. He don't got no filter. He's <laughs> you here? Welcome back to More Knox More TV. And if this is your first time here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for your boy and turn them notification bell and put them on all so you do not miss a content because we bring the facts to you, the truth, the bangers, the stuff that nobody else want to bring to you. So if you're ready, strap up your seatbelt and get your popcorn, get your chips, get your spliff, get whatever you need to relax, get comfy. Put your legs up and check out this banger. Tonight, fresh off his visit to the South Bronx, Donald Trump's looking to change that. Thank you, everybody. What a crowd. Wow. This is something. Facts. You know, we wanted to keep it small because who knew? This is like a love fest. Love fest. It's a love fest. Right. We love you. Thank you, Doug. Here's the native New Yorker feeling right at home. For real. I was sort of like a hot guy. I was hot as a pistol. <laughs> I think I was hotter than I am now when I became president. The costs have gone up so much. Bacon has gone... I don't eat bacon anymore. It's too expensive. When right. he's finished with his speech, he can never find the stairs. He That's can never true. find the stairs. That's true. And when he does, it's not a pretty picture either. Thank goodness for Secret Service. They come up and they guide him off. She wrapped him <laughs> up all cozy in a comforter of silk and <laughs> yeah. laid him by the fireside oh, man, with some funny. honey and some milk. She hurried home from work that night and soon as she arrived, she found the pretty snake she'd taken in had been revived. But instead of saying thank you, ma'am, the snake gave her a vicious bite. Ah, this man, morning. yo, you already know how that story ended up. Supporters waited in line in the rain to hear the former president, a borough that voted 90% for Biden in 2020, which today became a bit more red. After four years, you could feel the buyer's remorse. Johnny was there as our witness. Why are you here today? To support Donald Trump. I am here for Trump. To support Donald Trump. To put America first. What do you like about Donald Trump? Everything. He's from Queens and he speaks our language. I like Trump Hello. because he keep it real. He don't got no filter. That's He's facts. for the people. He speaks money. Yes, and this is what the country needs. Facts. We need money, not inflation. We need money. True. Everything was under control. We had low inflation. We had gas under a buck 80. What issues are people in the Bronx facing? Economic stress. They're facing an illegal invasion. In the Bronx right now, it's, it's, it's definitely crime. Prices is extreme. We care about the housing. We care about the crime. How is Joe Biden? So, you hear those questions when they ask about Trump. And people start telling you, when Trump was in power, gas price was low, low, low. They was making a lot of money. They could buy houses and a whole, a whole bunch of stuff. And I could go on and on and tell you a whole bunch of other good stuff that he did that they probably didn't even mention. And when they ask about what Joe Biden is doing now, you hear what they're telling you. Gas prices tripled. They can't afford nothing in the grocery store and stuff of that nature. And open borders. You know what I'm saying? Let's go back and hear what the people have to say. I didn't address those issues. He hasn't. He hasn't addressed them. He wants to make them worse. Nothing. He's just been talking a lot. The Biden name in the Bronx sounds like mass incarceration. What has Joe Biden done for the minority community? And if, if you let mainstream media tell the story, they'll tell you all these people that's here is being paid. <laughs> that, that's the type of trickery they put on these folks that that's not thinking for themselves they just let these program program them this the mainstream media will tell these people that believe in watching them that all these 
hundreds and thousands of people, black, white, Hispanic, that's here supporting Trump is getting paid. Ridiculous. Like, these people are from the Bronx, live in the Bronx. All these folks. And they was all Democrat until they seen what's going on. They cannot afford anything no more. He's done nothing but say, you ain't black. Incarcerated us. Not a thing. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> I really could not tell you what he's done. Nope. You hear that? My man said incarcerated us. And that's fact. Joe Biden with Clinton and them, they the one came up with the crime bill to imprison us black folks, Hispanic folks, even white folks, those that can't live up to expectation you feel me so the crime bill was designed to get us locked up get us off the street get take us out of the, the household but since trump came in they eliminate all of that you feel me and even came up with prison reform so if you're not a violent criminal you could come home to your family biden says if you don't support him you ain't black are you black <laughs> hey joe guess what Oh, I'm absolutely black, <laughs> and I support Trump. I don't know why he would say that. He's not even black. I guess I said I ain't black, because <laughs> I'm not voting for him. <laughs> Trump is more black than him. Trump is black as I am, you heard? Love was in the air. Donald Trump speaking for over an hour, addressing the economy, the border, foreign policy, and, of yes, course, sir, Joe yes, Biden. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Our subways are squalid and unsafe. The ceiling tiles are falling down. And they look worse than a third world country. That's the fact. medians of our highways are crumbling. Our sidewalks are littered with garbage, bottles, and trash. All Biden facts. is not getting the job done for the Bronx. The minute crooked Joe Biden shuffles out the door, I will rapidly rebuild the greatest economy, the history of the world. Look, we had the greatest economy in history. In Brooklyn, American students at James Madison High School were recently told they had to stay at home from school so their classrooms could be turned into housing for thousands of right? thousands of migrants that's crazy very simply joe biden puts illegal aliens first i put america first I that's what the people want to hear man this is what the people why can't joe biden or any democratic party whoever running come up and talk to the people like this let the people know we are for you, the American people, the citizens. You don't have to be an American long as you here legally. Because America is built on all race, all nation, immigrants, everybody. You feel me? This is what America is for. It's blessed. It's for everybody. But you're supposed to be here legally. You come here, you have to come here the right way so we know that you are here. So if you commit any crime, we know you was here and you did that. Put America first. Not everybody was happy that Trump was on their turf. Reverend Al Sharpton, happy DEI Thursday, by the way, <laughs> was ready for a street fight. Al Sharpton. Donald Trump is a street yes. fighter. You yeah. do not come into the ring with him with gloves, looking for a referee to stop every three <laughs> minutes rest. No, it's this God. is a street fight. You come in with a broke bottle and an ass <laughs> can <laughs> because it's going to be that kind of battle. Yo, you hear what this dude is promoting? They don't want to play fair. That's how the Democrats fight. And I heard something like Joe Biden said some crap like this before. He don't... He don't want to come up with policies and stuff. He want to take Trump in the back alley and knock them out. Yo, these Dems are crazy. Give us some policies so we could vote for y'all. Fighting dirty. <laughs> Democrats don't know any other way. <laughs> Forget about winning hearts and minds. They'd rather throw you in jail and call you racist. Facts. Here's Joe Biden's new ad. Watch. Of course I hate these people. Donald Trump disrespecting black folk is nothing new. He was sued for refusing to rent his apartments to black families and called for the execution of five innocent black and brown teenagers. Yo, yo, you hear how they started that off? Of course I hate those people. Like he was saying he hate black folks. But you, you know, this is an ad. And the them, I can't believe them. All they, all they do with their ad is show racism. They stay dividing folks. 
what what's up with the good ads about your policies what you gonna do for the country what you gonna do for poor people mi middle class people high schools and stuff of that nature the border no all your ads is about racist don't vote for that guy because he's a racist okay show us something that he actually do that was racist or say Donald Trump can't even keep his mouth closed and you cannot find anything that this man said that was actually racist besides all the other stuff y'all been fabricating and it's more than anger it's hatred it's why Trump stood with violent white supremacists warned of a bloodbath if he loses the next election and if he's president again vowed to be a dictator who wants revenge on his enemies now who do you think that is Donald Trump's been running his mouth his whole life, nonstop. <laughs> Facts. And they can't find a single thing he said that's racist. Facts. They have to go back to the 80s to find Central Park Five. Facts. Here's Trump in the 80s, by the way. Look at this. Black America wanted to be Trump before black America had even heard the name Joe Biden. Facts. You see this? The same time they trying to claim that Trump was a racist, these the same time Trump was hanging out with all black folks. Even trying to help Jesse Jackson with his campaign when he was running for election. Trump. Because Trump is a registered Democrat. It's, it's like he found out they some wicked people. So he like, let me go run over on the Republican side. Politics has always been personal. Personality is persuasive. But nothing persuades like results. Traditional Democrat constituencies, young, black, Hispanic voters, are not better off than they were four years ago and are coming around to a man who represents a movement they were told not to trust. Yep. But every bone in their body tells them that they can't trust the party bosses. Sick of their corny commands and broken promises, Facts. people in the Bronx and all over America are beginning to think for themselves, Facts. independently, Facts. outside of a system that's trapped and scolded them for opening their mouths and eyes. Preach on. AOC's brain can't even grasp anything other than left-right. Facts. Watch her stammer and lie. Humiliated, Trump gets bigger crowds in her borough than she does. <laughs> Let's see her. New York City's blue. Brooklyn's blue, Brooklyn is blue, Queens is blue, the Bronx is blue, and he's got nowhere to go. And so he's decided to come to the South Bronx. He's broke. He needs to pay these legal funds and, um, you know, busting people in in order to, to get those donations so that he can funnel them to his legal fees. She's crazy. She says Trump is broke. He can't find his fines and stuff of that nature. How... Yo, she's yo. What's wrong with this girl? Yo, you you hear how the Democrats talk? They don't have no type of policies or whatsoever. And um, you know, busting people in in order to to get those donations so that he can funnel them to his legal fees is kind of his business right now. Trump doesn't have to be in court for a week. He doesn't have to be in the Bronx. He wants to. <laughs> Trump's not going to the Bronx because he's broke. He's going to the Bronx because the Bronx is broke. Facts, 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 facts. Yo, I can't believe AOC did that. The Bronx is broke. That's why all these people came out supporting Trump. And you is the one because make the Bronx broke. You is responsible for the Bronx. You. Thanks to Bidenomics and AOC. Facts. Johnny's been there since two. Hasn't seen a single bus pull up. Where are you from? The Bronx, actually. I'm originally from the Bronx and from New York. I'm from the Bronx. Right here in the Bronx, New York. This is home, right here. AOC uh, says if you're not a Democrat, you don't belong here in the Bronx. Right. What do you say? I disagree with that. I don't think she should be here in the Bronx. Facts. I actually don't know any Democrats living in the Bronx. Look, AOC, <laughs> look at the some tremendous oh, support for Mr. Donald J. Trump. You need to tell her that she needs to stay out the Bronx because look at all the people yeah, around. Everybody's she here did. for Trump. Yes, I am sir. a Democrat. And I belong here. <laughs> and who are you voting for? Donald J. Trump. What has AOC done for the Bronx? She's done nothing for the Bronx. Nothing. Nothing's changed. Nothing's gotten any better. Nothing. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. You hear that? And that's her. That's her area. AOC. And she, she up there busy talking about Trump when she should be busy 
work in her district, her area, so these folks could have jobs and better schooling and housing and stuff of that nature. But she, I don't know what she doing with the money. All they, they just did to enrich themselves. Let her come to the front and let her come among us people that struggle. She doesn't even know what struggle is. All these people want is to be heard. Facts. And when you realize that, you understand how easy a politician's job is. Even easier than mine. You listen to the voters and you deliver the goods. That's it. That's it. You don't ignore them and deliver for yourself. No. AI would do a better job in Washington <laughs> than Democrats. Facts, facts. The Bronx has never felt more abandoned. Facts. We have so many Americans doing so bad in this country because we have people in this country believe that they have the right to strip us of our humanity, strip us of everything that we own, strip us of our rights to raise our children the way we want to raise our children. We have to stand up against them. It's not about just supporting Trump, it's supporting your rights. Facts. It's supporting this country's rights. Facts. It's supporting our children. Why are you people at home? That scared to come out and say you support Donald Trump, we get you, we understand. You might lose your job. You yes, might sir. Vote, vote for him anyway. Facts. If you continue to support the Democratic Party, which is anti-black, you are a damn fool. Facts. The forgotten men and women of this country, the normies, and blue-collar Democrats who've been slighted for decades, are all joining together as a part of a growing movement from the ground up. The movement reaches from the heartland to the street corner. It's everywhere. And the yes sir yes sir yes sir yes sir it's crazy it's crazy it's crazy ladies and gentlemen but you see what's going on you know what i'm saying and new york city all of a sudden now they they see what's going on they see that the democrat turned their backs on them like before trump couldn't even go to new york and do nothing nothing like this but now they the people them see that ain't nothing going on everything tripling price no jobs crime is crazy that's one of the main thing why the people them is running because remember the dems want to defund the police and don't want the police to really do their job how they supposed to do it and all these criminals they just let them back out it's crazy ladies and gentlemen so you see what's going on the Bronx looking like they going with Trump right now because he brings out a massive crowd just the Bronx alone so you are ready you are ready you are ready so peace and love and we are out of here